This is the worst organization I have ever worked for, I have to say. Um, it was more like a, a factory work yeah. where you had, um, you know, targets meaning uh, quotas of files that you had to um, go through during the day. There would be 80, 18 files to a bundle and you had to go through 26 bundles a day. And it was all timed and if it didn't, do it in that time, you know, you had to do it in your own time. So I used to get in, I mean, it was really, really difficult, and you weren't given any help. You're on your own, with a computer, in the room, and you might have another colleague who's got similar amount of work. And it was just like working in a factory, uh, you know, piecework. And you had to get through that. Nobody cared how you did it, and the results had to be what they predicted. It had to be so much of this, so much of that. You know, it was all quantified even before you started and it was just horrendous and the medical staff there they never touched a patient the doctor rang up the GP you know saying that they don't do medical they don't it's all on computer and the doctors ask questions and when I first joined them and I had to shadow a doctor I asked the doctor you know I mean why aren't you doing medical examination and he said oh we're not allowed to I I do not understand why Atos has to be brought in, why another company has to be brought in to do this work. Why can't the Department of Works and Pensions employ nurses and doctors who would do it for the Department of Works and Pensions? Mm -hmm. This company is minting money, and all the doctors in that, in that organization are doctors who can't get work in the NHS, and most of them are foreign doctors. I would say 95% of them are foreign doctors, and the rest of them are GPs who are doing part-time work because it's very well paid. They pay the doctors an, a, you know, a real good amount of money for the work they do. And it's, it's shambolic. I just could not do it. It was that bad, and I left God. after nine months. I have to know what's happening. You know, I, I really did give it a try, and it was just beyond me. You, you don't work there you know, as a nurse or a doctor. You just work there as a worker with no disregard, no regard for your your clinical skills, and most of the people who go there have not any because they've been out of practice for so long. Uh, certainly the doctors, you know, they, nearly all of them I met, apart from the GPs, who were all semi-retired or retired GPs or nearing their time. Um, and the, the other foreign doctors, filled with 90% of foreign doctors, and they cannot get a job in the NHS. They either fail their exams or it's too much for them or just can't get one because they're foreign. Very quickly, uh, this, this question, because I have other questions for you, Sammy. Mm -hmm. Are you surprised by the number of appeals that there are? Not at all. Not at all. Because even while I was there, this is the reason why I left. I could not do my work properly because everything was timed. You didn't have time to think. You had to get the results because your results were told to you. You had to get so many of this and so many of that. So even if you thought that the patient didn't quite fit into the category, you know, you had to fit them in somehow. You had to think the, you know, you had to think of the results before you actually oh. look at the file. Oh, that that, to, and me, that to me is shocking. So let me just clarify with you. You, were you encouraged to turn people away from the benefit system? Well, we actually didn't meet the patient. The doctors did, you know, face-to-face. -face. But, yes, yes, we had to, we had to do the, the file work. So, you know, the results came to this. Do you know what I mean? So, you, so you, you were informed that a certain percentage of people that you were dealing with in your files had to be turned down. Yeah. Or, or not turned down, whichever, yeah. you know. Um, and you, you, you just had to get, if you didn't get those figures right within your file, then, you know, there was repercussion on you. And you, you, you would go, have to go through this motion of, of kind of a disciplinary. And um, it, it's horrendous, I mean, to get, you know, Trained nurses, trained doctors, and they're having to do that. And the doctors never examine patients. So I, I, I don't see how you can actually come to any conclusion if you are a doctor and you haven't examined patients who've got illnesses, so-called, you know, illnesses. I mean, I'm not saying everybody 
were genuine. There were people that were not genuine either, but it, there was no time for doctors or nurses to think the way through. So why are we, you know, taking work that can be, if the NHS is, is run by the government, why can't the Department of Works and Pension be run by the government and they employ the doctors and the nurses? And so you belong to somebody, you belong to Atlas, and Atlas treats their staff horrendously. You know, they're making mega profits for themselves. The company itself is making profits, and it's a fact. But it's, it's a horrendous organization, and I'm not at all surprised that, you know, there's, there's so much money spent on appeals, because if we can't do, they can't do the work properly, full stop, because everything is, you know, predetermined. T- to me, Sally, th- th- this, is, this is so appalling and so shocking that people within Atos, like your good self who was there and left because you couldn't stand it anymore, are being told that they have to hit a target and they have Absolutely. to turn such a number of people away despite their health conditions. Mm-hmm. And. I don't. I I have no you know nurses myself who left time before me and after me for the very same reason because it it just it was such an unsatisfying job. Well, I was going to say as a, as a medical professional, as somebody who who's gone into this business because you cared, and presumably you went into us because you thought you could make a difference, you thought you could care about Absolutely. people. Absolutely. How did it make you feel? Awful. And do you know one of what one of the doctors said to me while I was there? She was the deputy uh, medical director. And, of course, the, the director and the medical director in the centers are doctors. Um, and the deputy director actually said to me, and I'm not telling a word of lie, she said, Sally, you'd better throw your principles out the window, otherwise you won't be able to work here. And so I threw my principles out the window, and I couldn't work there. That, that, that was how her... her, her you know, saying to me. So presumably, Sally, you've seen a lot of decent, good medical professionals leave Atos and be replaced with people who don't have the same moral compass as you or the same training as you. Absolutely. They stay on and, you know, some people need the job and I suppose they stay on, but it is the most demoralizing job I've ever done in my nursing life and I've been a nurse for over 30 years. 